Many potential Doberman owners are afraid to get their first Doberman, or worse, they just give up when they start because they have a million questions and they've heard horror stories online about how difficult owning a Doberman can be. So I scoured the internet and I collected a list of the most frequently asked questions by new Doberman owners. My hope is if I run through these and answer a lot of the questions you have, you won't be afraid to get your first Doberman. So let's get to it. Guys, I'm feeling a little cooped up today, and besides, I like driving the wife a little crazy, so I'm gonna haul this camera gear around the house, and I'm gonna answer each one of these questions in a new room in the house. Let's get going. Question one, are Dobermans aggressive? No, they, they can be naturally protective, but they also can be naturally tight, loyal, loving family dogs. And that protective instinct is overridden easily if you socialize them really well with kids early on, and you socialize them with uh, other people in different situations. Um, and they'll just be great, loving family dogs. Question two, can they live in an apartment? Absolutely, yes, they can. They, they're called Velcro dogs for a reason. They love being right with their owners and right on top of them. Uh, and they're smart enough and intelligent enough to know what's expected of them so you can train them to work really well in a small area. The only issue could be exercise, so make sure you put a little extra effort into getting them out and getting them their daily exercise. But yes, they can do great in an apartment. Number three, can they live outside? No, they can't. They're family dogs. They're meant to be in with the family and close to you. If they're living outside, they're not gonna be happy. It's also not good for them. But when your Doberman's not happy, trust me, you won't be happy either. They're gonna, be, they're gonna act out in other ways. They'll be destructive and all that kind of thing. Uh, they also have single layer coats, so they don't do very well in the cold at all. And really, they don't do great in the heat either. Number four, should I get the ears cropped? Now, that could be a topic for a whole video in and of itself, but basically it's completely up to you. Check the laws where you live because in the United States and Canada, it is legal to get the ears cropped as long as it's done at a vet. Um, in most countries in Europe and most other countries, a lot of other countries in the world, it is illegal. So make sure you know what the laws are where you live. Now the proponents of the cropped ear will say that that's the classic Doberman look. That's how they're supposed to look. They'll say that it improves airflow through the ears, which keeps them drier to prevent ear infections. They'll also tell you that it helps uh, determine direction of sound. Uh, the dog can hear sounds and locate them a little easier. Uh, if the dog is doing protection work, it's one less handhold for someone to grab a hold of uh, and get control of the dog. If the dog is being used for hunting or running through brush a lot with a lot of sharp sticks, they'll also say that cropped ears are great because it prevents damage to ears when they're running through that kind of brush. Now the proponents for the floppy ears will say that that's how they're meant to look, that's the way that the breed is, is with the floppy ears. They'll tell you that ear infections are not a big issue with Dobermans, which is absolutely true. Uh, and they'll also tell you that the softer look and feel is a whole lot better um, when you're out in public. Um, if the dog is doing any kind of service dog or therapy work, the softer look is great. And honestly, you will have a lot less problems with uh, just fear from strangers with your dog if you have that kind of more softer look of a floppy ear Doberman but really it's completely up to you. Number five, what is the ear cropping process like and how much does it cost? Usually a Doberman will get their ears cropped between seven to nine weeks of age. It can happen up to about 12 weeks of age. After that, the ear cartilage is hardened and usually the ear cropping is not successful. It has to be done by a qualified vet. Um, after the cropping procedure, you bring your dog home, you'll have to rewrap and uh, wrap and rewrap the ears and post them in the position you want them in for about uh, maybe up to five, six months. It can even be longer for some dogs. Um, it needs to go that long because the cartilage needs to heal in that and, and, and harden in that certain position so that the ears stand up. It costs about three to $800 on average. And uh, really it's completely optional. A lot of owners choose not to get their Doberman ears cropped and really both ways are great. Number six, how much exercise do they need? I actually just did a video on this on my channel recently. Uh, basically the answer is one to two hours every single day. Sounds like a lot, but just break it up throughout the day, throw the ball for them in the morning, play with them in the afternoon, maybe a little bit in the evening, and you should be easily able to work up to one to two hours per day. If you have a second dog, that's even better. But keep an eye on your dog. 
every dog is different. If they start looking stressed out or like they have some anxiety, throw a little bit more exercise throughout the day in there for them. Number seven, can they be trained to bite on command? Well, the answer is yes, they can, but it is somewhat of a liability. Let's say your dog accidentally bites a neighbor kid and you get sued over it. You could be on the stand and have to admit to the whole court that you paid somebody to get your dog trained to bite. And that could be an issue for you. Now, there's also great things about having your dog protection trained as well. They could protect your family in the right situations, whereas a dog that isn't protection trained may be hesitant. So you gotta decide what's right for you and your family. And keep in mind, protection training is expensive and can at times involve boarding your dog overnight, sometimes for weeks or months at a time. Number eight, do they shed? Yes, Dobermans shed. It's a moderate to a minimal amount. They're short, thick, uh, pointy hairs, and they're actually pretty, really easy to sweep up, and there's not a whole lot of them. But because they're short, thick, and pointy, they will get stuck in furniture, like the fabric of furniture, and clothes, and that kind of thing. But really, it's pretty easy. Number nine, are they hyper? Well, of course, every dog's different, but in general, a Doberman will be kind of energetic up until adulthood, which is about the age of two. Uh, at two, they tend to be a lot more stoic in nature. Uh, they, they still need exercise, but they'll be a lot more stoic and calm. We are cruising through this list. All right, we got a few more questions left to go, but I want to take a fast break to point out the bright red subscribe button down below. Hit that button and the little bell icon that comes up next to it and you won't miss any of my future videos. All right, guys, let's get back to the questions. Number 10, do they drool? No, Dobermans aren't big droolers. Uh, sometimes after they've had a bunch of water out of their water bowl, they'll walk around with kind of an annoying dribble coming out of their mouth. But uh, other than that, no, Dobermans don't drool. Number 11, how long do they live? Well, 10 to 13 years is average. The longest reported was about 22 years of age, although I haven't seen proof of this. Um, I spoke with many Doberman owners whose dogs have lived to 16 years of age um, successfully. Now, I gotta get off this roof before I have a short lifespan. Number 12, do they have lots of genetic health issues? Well, they definitely have a few. Von Wildebrand's disease is a blood clotting disorder which can affect Dobermans. Uh, they also have Wobbler syndrome, which is a spinal cord compression issue, chronic active hepatitis, a liver problem, and DCM, or dilated cardiomyopathy. These are all potential genetic problems in the Doberman breed, but with reputable breeders, a lot of times you can get genetic testing, which will tell you ahead of time if your puppy is going to be affected by one of these problems. Number 13, how are they with kids? Dobermans are excellent with kids. Now, they do have a tendency to bond strongly with one person in the house, and usually that's one of the kids. But they're loving, gentle, sweet dogs, and uh, if they've grown up with a kid especially, uh, they'll do great. Just remember lots of socialization and keep exposing your children all along the way. Number 14. We're getting close, guys, thank God, because I'm getting tired. Do they like to cuddle? Yes, they love to cuddle. They can be like 100 pounds, though, so keep in mind you might have a 100-pound dog climbing up in your lap or begging to come up on your bed or your kid's bed in the middle of the night to cuddle. So be prepared for that. Number 15, how are they with other dogs? In general, they're great, especially with dogs of the opposite sex. Now, like most dog breeds, if you get them in a house with a dog of the same sex, especially if they're both males, you can sometimes have issues. But in general, having another dog in the house is actually a really good thing for them because they need a lot of exercise and that can help make getting that exercise a whole lot easier. Well, guys, the wife officially thinks I've gone crazy hauling this camera gear all around the house. Um, you know, the Doberman is an awesome breed, and they're great family dogs. I really don't think you'll be disappointed. And guys, any of the questions and answers I've given here today, I've just kind of breezed through them. But if you want more details about any of them, take a look at some of my other videos on my channel. Most of these topics I've done an in-depth video about with a lot more information. So take a look at that if you want more. And hey, before you take off, drop a comment down below. Let me know any questions you have about the breed, and I'll do my best to answer all of them. And you know what? I might even feature your question in a future video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hit that like button. Take care.